Good day, YouTubers, and welcome to Travel Vlog Day 1, Galveston, the GameCon. As you can see, we're all packed, ready to go. It is, I got up at quarter after four. It is now quarter to five. Carol just needed something quick to eat, and then we're out of here. I usually get a Tim Hortons on the way down, but I'm just going to wait till we get to the airport. Ready? Let's go. All right, this time I tried uh, the Value Park. Very nice parking garage. Uh, and then we take a tram from here to the airport. It's like a maximum of $100 a week, I believe. So we're only gonna be, we're gonna be here for a week. So it's gonna cost me a hundred bucks to park the car. Okay, look at this thing. We are in Terminal 1, looking for departure straight ahead, that way. As you can see behind me, it is crazy. Now we have to go to U.S. Customs. That was the busiest I've ever seen it here. Uh, it took me, uh, it took us an hour to get through that line. That was brutal. I asked uh, the check-in lady, I said, is it always this busy? She's like, no, it's just because it's a summer and it's a Friday. But that's why you come early. So it's 7.52 and we have still got to go through customs. It is absolute chaos here. Uh, they're like calling people out of the line whose plane's about to leave and get, rushing them through customs. But as you can see, it is insane. Uh, we, we're supposed to be boarding in eight minutes, but uh, I guess we'll wait and see if we make it on the plane or not. So we're finally through customs. It's 8.07. Boarding was at eight o'clock. Still haven't got my coffee, but we'll get one real soon, like. Here, Timmy, Timmy, Timmy. Here to Starbucks. Did you hear what my wife said? She said Starbucks. I don't care if I miss my flight. I'm getting a Tim Hortons. No lineup. Oh, there is a lineup. Damn it. Yeah. There you go, sir. So we're literally the second last people on this plane. There we go, people. Bright and sunny, and I'm sweating, and I've got a hot coffee on me. But as long as I got a coffee on me, we're good. No panic attacks. I've never experienced this in my life. First time. We're on a very small plane this time. Jazz Express. Okay guys, we're on a Bombardier CRJ705. Just over the wing. Very small plane, this is two and two. As you can see, well, we got our TV, we got our USB. <coughs> so uh, we're gonna have a good flight, hopefully. This wind is blowing my hair. But this window, it's all scratched and dirty, so we get what we get. Ready for takeoff. Some cucumber. Yeah. Okay, the chicken 
crap I've had before, and it's a uh, between a indifferent and a do not rec or sorry an indifferent and a would recommend. I think I, I next time I want to try the beef sandwich. I can't remember if I've had that or not. But as you can see, cucumbers, lots and lots of cucumbers. Me and Caroline don't like cucumbers, but we wanted chicken, so we gotta pull out the cucumbers. Three little bites that I got. Little bit in my mouth is it? Brakes are kind of grindy. I think it needs a brake job. Time to see Houston. See ya. Look out, coming through. Luggage coming. So now we're off to baggage claim. I thought I'd show you the plane that we're on. It was quite small. It is 10.54 a.m. Uh, Houston time. And uh, if I can find a Dallas Cowboy hat or a Houston Texans hat, we'll be good. As soon as you get off the plane, as soon as you get the baggage claim, my bag, right there. Both of them too. I like small planes. Small planes have their advantages. Okay, now we gotta go to ground transportation and get our driver to pick us up. Oh, wait, look at that. Stomach. Stomach, yeah, where's the stomach? Uh, it's close, it? close to Dominic, but it can't Dominic? Dominic. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> That's are you calling me? Yes. So we, we've created a new name for me. Ken Stomach. It's kind of a cross between Domic and Stomach. Stomach. Houston, Texas. Not for long, we'll be in Galveston really soon. All right guys, I just finished doing a periscope. Hope you guys joined in on that. It's kind of fun for you guys to see exactly where I am live and we're driving down the highway and a lot of people thought I was periscoping while driving, but as you can see, we have a driver and he's awesome. Uh, so we're going over this crazy bridge. It is probably the widest bridge that I think I've seen. It's a, uh, a what? Ship. Oh, shipping channel. Oh, shipping channel. So, there's Houston way over there. Oh, and there's the boats. Yeah. So we're up pretty high. Is that a cruise ship? No. Oh, no. Oh, lots of industry over there. Stanky. Pasadena over there. Pasadena? Yeah. To our left? Yeah. Poor Pasadena. We're still on our way to Galveston. I thought I'd like shout out some of the restaurants we see along here. So I saw some the cantina over there. Uh, and then we have like Honda. It's not a very good place to eat. Oh, there's Chili's. There was a Friday's back there, not too far back. Waffle House. Waffle House. Yeah, we saw a Waffle House earlier. And right beside the Waffle House was a Dairy Queen, which was pretty flippin' cool. So we're passing a very big mall over here. Hooters. I think I should do a review of Hooters. No. <laughs> no, she says. No, she says to me. Steak and shake. Steak and shake. Cheddars. You guys got everything. People think that we have everything. You guys have everything. 
your things are in, a, in our country. <laughs> if it wasn't for your things, we'd have no things. Well, we'd have Harvey's. Rudy's, and, and Tim Hortons. At Rudy's, and there's some type of a park that's being built. Look at that. Oh, maybe it's a, go it's a golf range. Three-story golf range. Plain to see. Tanger Oaklets. Isn't that funny? Plain. <laughs> Galveston, 28 miles. Suddies, and they do catfish. And then we've got a Cracker Barrel over there, a pawn shop, crispy chicken. Just saw a Whataburger sign. There's Chili's Chick-fil-A, or Chick-fil-A. <laughs> There's the Waffle House Subway. Yeah, you guys got everything. I'm so glad you have a Chick-fil-A. Just passed over the Galveston sign. We're going over the the bridge. Check it out. We've got water. We've got boats. We've got a big bridge. We're almost there. Nice. There's the sign. We just passed it. No. Just turned off 61st Street. are up on stilts. Just passing the ocean here. Well, this would be the Gulf. Yeah. The Gulf of Galveston. <laughs> Water's a little dirty, a little bit mucky. So we made it, people. All right, so we made it to the Hilton. We got a check in under the name Domic, or actually Stomach. We'll ask him about Stomach. All right, guys, we're all checked in. We can't actually get into our room till four o'clock, but they're gonna, Rachel, the sweetheart that she is, is gonna text us when there's a room ready. I thought I'd show you the lobby. The lobby has the restaurant right in the lobby. It's very pretty, lots of marble, possibly fake. And then you got this really nice sitting area. This would be an awesome basement. Hey, if you had like a million dollars, have a basement like that. That would be freaking awesome. Just have lots of parties. You have your bar. Let's walk you through. I'm sure you guys would appreciate that. Then we've got our pool with an island. Oh my gosh, it's an island bar. I'm going to spend at least a couple hours at the bar in the pool. That's awesome. Whoops, sorry, I bunked the camera. Very nice place. Okay guys, we got a room. Nice. We didn't have to wait till four. So we got a closet. Nice. Oh, we have robes. We've got robes. Nice big safe. Uh, sitting area, that's what I'll be... No, I'm actually going to probably edit over there. Very pretty washroom. Very nice. I'll try and go slow. Uh, then we've got... That's weird when the toilet paper's behind you like that. Oh well, that's how you that's how you deal with it. And you got your shower stall. Let's move into here. Sitting area. Nice bed. Big bed. Television, nice. Editing suite, very good. Lounging chair. That's where all my clothes go. Nice room. Thank you very much, GameCon. And then we'll show you our view of the convention center. It looks like we have a view of a parking lot. <laughs> so we didn't like the view in the other room, but we liked the room. So we came back downstairs just to ask. It doesn't hurt to ask. So Carol taught me. Uh, so they put us on the other side. Wait till you see this view. You see the pool, the ocean much better and it's on the fifth floor so you can or yeah the fifth floor this hotel only has six floors but uh, i'll show you in just a second hang on so pushy okay here's the new room so it's exactly the same and but we have this view let's sh have a show of hands what view is better this one or the other one? Oh my gosh this is awesome all right, guys, we're gonna get our shorts on and we have to go get something to feed on. Maybe seafood. I see seafood. So, 
You too. We're all unpacked, ready to go. Dame should be here any minute. We're just gonna go look for some food. Food, you know the code, food. Just before we start to sit down to eat, Dame and his wife are here. Dame! It's Dame. How you doing, man? No, uh, hugs, 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 hugs. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, finally. How are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> so how was the flight? The flight was good. Yeah. yeah definitely decent. I don't understand how you guys got on a flight at six o'clock. We got on a flight at eight thirty. We got here at ten thirty this time. Wait, wait, did you have a layover or not? No layover. We had a layover. Oh, where'd you, where would you lay over? In Atlanta. Ah, oh, how far? Two, two hours in Atlanta. Where, yeah. What time? I guess it was. Yeah, we're in the airport, and then I saw that you're uh, on the airplane. I'm like, he's on the airplane two hours before me. He's gonna beat still, me. He's gonna beat me. No, no, still the layover. But the layover. You, you had the straight flight. You had, you had the love. And if I would have flew out of uh, JFK, then we would have had a straight flight. Oh. But because I don't feel like driving an hour, right. I'd rather just drive. You know, probably like half hour. Makes sense. To the closest airport. Cool. They're like, oh, you're gonna get a layover. I said, oh, whatever. Well, welcome. Yeah. Get that side of the hotel. That side. So of the hotel. that's he said, it. He said even room. Right? Even numbers. All right, Dame and I are. At GameCon, he's trying to get his act together. So there's the GameCon. Right, get, get, get the whole life together. GameCon. GameCon, my early registration to Man Man Dame drops. Hey, nice yeah, camera. Yeah. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, oh, can't let them awesome. know about it. Can't let them know about it. So we are in Galveston, Texas, at the GameCon, and it is going to be. Two to three thousand screaming crazy gamers, Ugh. and it's going to be absolutely fantastic. And we're going to be the only two food reviewers here, so we're going to take the, we're going to go take this place by storm. Boo, boo. <laughs> All right, so we're uh, our shrimp pull boys, so we're good. Yeah, definitely about shrimp pull. So do you have your tickets? Uh, no, we're no. VIPs. That's right, you are. Once again, I'm videotaping yeah, Dame Drops <laughs> and his fans yeah, so with yeah, his man. camera. So I'm out here, we're gonna be doing a live food review of Whataburger. And we're gonna do that on, we're doing a live food review on Saturday, right? Saturday at four o'clock. <laughs> Saturday at four o'clock. Right. Live food review. <laughs> All right, make sure you do it, man. See, that's official, can't get, get that right there, Ken. He's already on his A game. He's already on the Dame Drops A game. That's his, that's his uh, screensaver right there. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna do the Dame Drops. Restricted access. I'm going in. <laughs> retro arcade. That is exactly what you know. You know about the retro arcade. You don't know anything if you're not here at the game con in Galveston, Texas. I mean, I know. I told you. I'm going to check out what is in our cool little gift bag. Let's see what's in here. Oh, I'm always Loot bag. We've got what we're going to be doing. We've got our game con. Oh, they gave us some goodies? Special guest. Whoa. I'm special. Whoa. Nice. Then we've got Whoa. some business cards. One. We got Matthew. We got Michael. We've got <laughs> Bubba Gump Shrimp Company. Bubba. We've got a Sharpie. Uh, Zach. Is Zach around? Yeah, Zach's uh, I've been talking to him. All three of them are running their heads off. No kidding. Uh, yeah, that's what happens when you run a, a game con. Well, there you go. <laughs> all right, guys. One of the cool things about uh, when they invited me down to the game con was because of the stuff that I've done with the food bank up in uh, Barrie, Ontario, they decided to contact their local food bank and the food bank dropped off eight of these uh, food bank dispensing units. Uh, and if you bring non-perishable food items, put them in here, they enter your name into a draw. Uh, there's a plaque that you can actually get or win that was actually on the Space Center uh, for a period of time. It's just some type of a plaque. I haven't seen it. I was just kind of described it, but that's pretty much what it was, which is extremely cool. Also, they're gonna be putting in and some uh, loot uh, bags and stuff and, and uh, you can win some pretty cool stuff and we also get to feed the hungry in Galveston. So I really appreciate that from uh, the GameCon. Thank you very much. Okay, Carol and I just went to uh, Kroger's, Kruger's. That says Kroger, but we'll call it Kruger. 
Anyway, so we just bought about $50 worth of food for the food bank. Uh, tuna, peanut butter, we didn't lose anything. Uh, rice, and I think that was it. And $50 worth of that, and there was all on sale stuff, so we got more for our buck. All right, guys, we are going back to the convention center, and uh, I am working and working at the same time. So I'm here at the game, game con having fun, but at the same time I'm trying to upload a video just for you. Okay guys, we're hanging out at the game con and we have Danny here who I met about, what, a year ago? Yeah, pretty uh, just much. Over, just over a year ago uh, in New York City. And what's going to happen? Hey! Hi. What's going to happen uh, tonight? Like what's going on in the console island room? Well tonight we have the Attendee Plus hangout party and it's gonna be pizza. Actually, nice. there already is pizza. Pizza, okay, gotta go. It's gonna be music. <laughs> you wanna go? Look? Just kidding. No, well, just go to music and, and music, what kind of gaming? Games, Xboxes, Wii U's, PlayStations. We're all getting together and meeting the uh, YouTubers as well as Ken here. And we're all That's just me. hanging out. And Dame. And Dame. Don't forget Dame. Dame. Let's go get some pizza. Let's get some pizza. It's time for another slice. <laughs> Minus the three. Oh, and how about this? How about this? Papa so, John's. Is it Papa John's? That is not oh, yeah. by another. Uh, Papa Papa John's. So, Papa John's is. Kindly. That's just cheese, I would imagine, right? Yes. Ew. Pepperoni. Let's do pepperoni. Oh. Shake it. Shake it. Cheers. Thank you. Mm. Papa John's pizza is good. I like it. So this is a console room. We have parents sitting around waiting for the kids to want to go home, which they won't. Then we've got all kinds of console gaming there. I think everything is console because that's what it's called. We've got some card game playing here. Cars, Portal 2, Minecraft, and this is Hitman. Not a violent game whatsoever. And we've got some games over here too. Look at that! So this is just a pre, pre uh, gaming day evening get together, like you said. Let's eat some pizza. Mm. 